Okay, so we've had some requests to put some video instructions on how to work with this pattern. So this is a pattern that a customer has sent me. It's basically, it's a zigzag or a trapezoid. And what he's looking to do is change the size. So first we've got this pattern, so let's view what it looks like. So I'm gonna to go to, to the icons on the top to view. I'm gonna left click and I'm gonna put here stitch point on and click that. Now I can see what the stitches are. So if I wanna make the pattern bigger or smaller, I can go to edit, enlargement reduction. Okay, and here I could change the scale. So I'm gonna just, for this argument's sake, I'm gonna make it 50% and 50%. And look at what happens. It made it a lot smaller. I'm gonna undo that. If I wanna make the zigzag only change the size, I have these icons here in the corner. I don't know if you can see the mouse. But this one here that says stitch pitch changing. Okay, I can highlight that and then I can go to the pattern and right click that and that'll tell me the zigzag width and the zigzag length. So I'm going to change this just, just to show you how this is done. And then look at what happened. Okay. If I want to keep If I want to keep this as a reference point and make the pattern small so that that stays, I can, there's an icon here, reference point for enlargement reduction. And I could pick any point in the, in the, in the pattern. So I can make this the reference point. Okay. And then when I make the pattern larger or smaller, that will be the constant point. So this is gonna be one part of the video and we'll have several more.